Hello everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Pepper's Adventures in Time. We have just somehow gotten up the, uh, I almost said the turnpike. <laughs> what is that called? Um, the, the drain pipe? The drain pipe, yeah. Uh, we tried to jump into this tree. Uh, we didn't try and fly it. Jeez, it would be great to be able to fly. I have to agree with Pepper on that one. Uh, let's try and jump on Mrs. O'Brien's roof. Since she can't fly, Pepper can't go to other roofs. That seems terrible. That's too high for Pepper to climb. She might fall off. We might fall off now! And, <laughs> well, okay. Uh, can we talk to Lockjaw? Good boy, good Lockjaw. My cat just reacted. Alright, so, enough of that. Let's get down to business. Yuck! Look at this filthy window. I'll just wipe some of this dirt off. There! That's better! Um, okay. I, I, I guess we're not gonna... I'm actually gonna do something because, um, there's a really large possibility that the game might freeze, um, after a certain sequence during this, and if that happens, I apologize deeply. I will do my best to figure it out. <sighs> For the love of doo-doo. Okay. You crazy, Fred. You're sick, Fred. You should be locked up, Fred. That's what they said about me in the institution. <laughs> well, I'll just show them. I'll show them all. <laughs> My what-if machine and I will change the course of history. Oh, it's gonna be so much fun. What if penicillin were never invented? What if Mongols took over Europe? What if I were the king of the universe? <laughs> oh, okay, okay. Now where do I start? Who's gonna get rid of fat first? Ah, oh, him. Ben Franklin. I've always hated that guy. Just wait till I get through with him. Yeah, you know, when I go through history books, Bren Franklin just totally jumps at me. I like the little station of Bren Franklin. Look at him, he's got big eyes. Self-determination, equality, with a load of flamingo fellows. Equality is only for those who deserve it, namely me. Ooh, ooh, I know just the thing, 1968. Yes. Please note, democracy, equality, a bunch of craps. I'll get you, Ben Franklin. In a few moments, I'll add the special essence of the year 1968 to Philadelphia in 1764, and everything will change. This potion has all this mellow stuff from 68, the let it be attitude and all that junk, but I took out the backbone. I took out all the will to protest. When I get done with Benjamin Franklin, he'll be an incense burning, headband wearing jellyfish. <laughs> I really hope this sounds psychotic because I want it to sound. Open wide, Mr. Franklin. Ooh, dear. Once you become a flower child, you'll destroy any chance for an American revolution. Oh, that seems... Oh, he's got little clocks in his eyes. You're so influential, you'll probably have all the colonists quitting their jobs and staging rock concerts in no time. Here it goes. <laughs> all right, let's not run out of heap space. That would be really cool. Oh, awesome. Holy time warp! Let's do the time warp again. He's gonna change the course of history. We gotta stop it. Arby singing God Save the Queen at school tomorrow. Woof, 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 woof! Arf! Lockjaw, look out, we're. Yikes! My parents are totally gonna come downstairs and be like, the hell are you doing up at this time of night? Ow! Arf, 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 arf! What? You. You, you noisy little rat, get out of here. Better keep your mouth shut about this invention or I'll turn your ugly mutt into dog puree. Puree. I'm not letting you change history, Freaky Freddy. No way. I love this animation here. Holy cow. Youch! Lockjaw is a badass. Just like you, kitten. Yes. Lockjaw? Oh no, you get that rotten dog out of my machine right now. He'll ruin everything. Stop him, you fool! Okay, so 
I'm gonna save just in the unlikely event. This game, you, you cannot die in this game, however, you can, um, well, I'll, I'll, I'll save it for later. Um, and I don't think it'll screw me and have me run out of time right now. Get the little girl eyes. It's Pepper's ill-natured, unhinged Uncle Fred. Uncle Fred has turned a giant radar zap microwave oven into some sort of video display. That's pretty talented, actually. A large globe is suspended from machinery. Pepper's pretty sure that Uncle Fred stole it from the high school. My Pepper's not in high school. An enormous time machine dominates the room. No, more, no wonder Uncle Fred's been making so much noise up in here lately. There's enough machinery in that thing to open a spare parts shop. Is that a bell pepper? Fine, don't tell me if it's a bell pepper or not. A digital message sign. It's called a marquee. Thank you. And very old-fashioned, Pepper wonders what evil use Uncle Fred has for the red paint. I'm sorry, that's my favorite part. Okay, well, let's get her done. I guess I'll save the furry little jerk. No, no, get out of my... You'll ruin my beautiful machine. No! I did the sound effect before they did the text, so yikes! I love this. This is like a wallpaper, not a wallpaper, a screensaver from 1994. Philadelphia, 1764. Clunk! And this is why this game is awesome. Legit. Look, John! Look at his cute little buck teeth. Well, they're not buck teeth. What a drag, spiritual man. The bell is having a crack in it. It was the bell's karma to be doing so. Do not sweat it, my brother. I am digging you, brother. You are most heavy. On row 16. Let us take the bell to the forge and think good thoughts upon it. Uh-oh. What's gonna happen? And yes, all of you will be plagued with the truth button. False. No way! These guys are totally uncolonial. The Hare Krishna is a cult stressing devotion to the Hindu god Krishna first appeared in the U.S. in 1966, and they didn't crack the Liberty Bell. Which is too bad, I saw the Liberty Bell in real life, it's actually kind of cool. The Liberty Bell was actually cracked at the foundry or the forge. It appears Uncle Fred's evil machine has done its work. In case you're wondering what you just saw, that was a demonstration of the truth icon. Use it often. Now back to Pepper's Adventures in Time. Um, I'm a huge fan of the truth icon. It helped me become a filthy little know-it-all snob when I was in school. I knew all kinds of crazy crap like taxation without representation, who poor Richard was, um, when Ben Franklin went to France for the first time, blah 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 blah. Um, I'm sure all of you as adults- Holy hair, Krishna's lockjaw! Did you see what I just saw? That is way better than Holy Batman. <laughs> Whoops, uh, there aren't supposed to be Harry Krishnas here. I mean, there aren't even any airports. How does she know what year she's in? What <laughs> were? Oh boy. We're gonna have to fix this somehow. What are we gonna do, buddy? Alright, so, uh, anyway. Uh, this is our friend the village idiot who seems to be struggling. If we try and depart... Um, Pepper can't possibly turn her back on the poor man in need. Um, so we need to speak, not with our dog, but with the man. Pretty lass, my, but thy clothing is odd. Oh, I am rude. I do not mean to offend, stranger. Pretty, have mercy. I'm Pepper Pumpernickel, ace reporter. What horrid crime led you to sad circumstances, Mr. Village Idiot? Hey, you don't look so good, are you? Are you okay? I have committed no crime, lass, and my name's not okay. My ancestry is English, not Irish. Poor Richard at thy service. I wish my last name were okay. That'd be pretty cool. Well, I'm a thief. Pepper takes the dipper. You're a dip. Okay, here you go, dude. No, maybe, maybe, wait, wait, wait a minute. Maybe I should find out some more about the guy before I set him loose. Huh, Lakcha? Yeah, I think so, too. Okay, just for an example of the truth icon, first we're going to click on this dude. False. 
Poor Richard was not a real person. He was a fictional character dreamed up by Ben Franklin for his Poor Richard's Almanac, which is a good read. The Almanac contained proverbs, weather predictions, facts, and farming guides. It was entertaining and popular. Okay, you're saying, if the dude's not real, then what's he doing here? Well, you're just gonna have to play the game and find out. Bummer, huh? <laughs> I love that. I wish there were more games like this. True, ridicule was often a part of punishment in colonial America. Oh, I would really like to X that out and just have America. In addition to being put in the stocks and labeled village idiot, the prisoner was often pelted with rotten vegetables and things by his or her neighbors, and you thought detention was a bummer. You know what's funny is I never, I only had detention once. It was way fun. I don't think I'll tell my children that when I have it. Can I go in here? Tearing down the stamp act notice might be fun, but it would almost certainly get Pepper arrested. I love tearing down pieces of paper. It just really it tickles my funny bone. If you haven't committed a crime, what are you doing with your head stuck in that thing? Well, tis a long story, but I am at thy mercy. You see, something awful has happened to Benjamin Franklin. He wants that our fair people city... Uh, the people of our fair city to be wise and good and frugal. Now he gives them ridiculous, silly advice, and they follow him like a flock of sheep. Foolishness and frivolity rule our once fair colony, thanks to Ben. You can also click on red words and have them, uh, uh <laughs> explain for you, I guess. Um, I already knew what frivolity meant, so I probably won't be clicking on a lot of those. For pointing out their folly, my friends and neighbors have clapped me in these stocks. Please, lass, I need thy help most desperately. And by the way, I'm sorry if any of my men sound like women. I can't make my balls drop because, unfortunately, I don't have any. Well, not unfortunately, but, you know, anyway. Okay, what can I do to help you, Mr. Poor Richard? I'll tell you, lass. I'm not... I'll tell you, I'm not okay, lass. Uh, no matter that thou givest me a drink from young Dipper, if it pleases thee. What would most help me, Mist? What would help me most is if thou would set me free. I hate to ask it, lass, but I've got a family to care for. Um, I've always actually kind of thought this was sort of a weird. I'll just fill this dipper with water. On the the box, it has for this game. It has all kinds of weird art and illustration that never made it through. Oh, I thank you, lass. That made me feel so much better. Please, could thou now set me free? Um, yo, you're gonna have to pay me money. Can I? Fine, we'll just set you free, even though I meant to molest you. Here you go, Mr. Richard. Whatever. Oh, that feels so much better. How can I ever thank thee? Well, I must away. I fear I've been away from my duty too long. I must hurry back to bear my family. Again, I thank thee. Farewell. Who the hell is B? What? Well, I guess I don't really need this dipper. You don't know that, Pepper. We might have been able to melt that down and sell it on the black market. And this dude who has the biggest nose ever is a jerk. Spoilers. Hey now, I saw what you did and you let that criminal go. By the way, a lot of my accent. Who are you? Chill out, dude. I'm the king's own watchman, I am, and you're under arrest. For what? For tampering with the king's justice, for outlandish dress, and... Hey! You're a girl, are you not? No, Einstein, I'm a talking dog. You can't fool me, you're a girl. You're also charged with wearing trousers in public. Come here, you, let's just empty those pockets. Hey, haven't you ever heard of Freedom of the Press? Lockjaw, help! He is beating a woman. I don't care if this is 1766 or 17... No, what year is it? No, I think it's 1766. I'm so huh? glad that I'm the one LPing this and I know... Yow! Lockjaw's a badass. Good boy. <laughs> Oh man, Lockjaw, I can't believe this. Five minutes after we get to Colonial America, we're criminals. Why? We've got to get the heck out of here. I don't know what's going on, but I don't like it. What? Now, this is actually one of... Actually, never mind. Uh, this is one of my very favorite scenes in the whole game, which I know is a little bit weird. 
They'll be coming to get you soon, I will. <laughs> I can't wait. Anything would be better than being stuck with here. You here, dude. Um, that retort lost a little because I misread it. <laughs> hey, a hammer. I should pick that up. Mom says you should never go anywhere without one. Take that to heart, kids. When I went to college, because of that quote, I bought a hammer. Pepper's hands aren't strong enough to pull the nails out of the wood, but she, you know what? She has a hammer. You know what she can do with that hammer? She's gonna pry those puppies right out of there. But literally, um, I haven't been without a hammer since I was 16 years old. They come in handy, so don't mess around, guys. Uh, let's see. I wonder if I could use this canvas for something. This is also... I'm gonna do this because we can. Can't escape the king's justice, you can't. Oh yeah? It looks like you couldn't escape the truck that ran over your face. <laughs> Pepper is my new favorite. <laughs> he doesn't respond. The crates are far too heavy to move. I think I'll just grab those herbs. Hey, what do you think you're doing? Those herbs have been grown to ease. Special to ease its majesty's gout. I'm already drunk and I have gout too. Keep away from him also. Help me, all time you'll flee bit eyed Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure thing, you big goon. Well, okay. We can't get the herbs right now. Um, however, and I'm not really sure how you would come up with this, but I guess there's not much else to do. There, now that big jerk won't be able to see what I'm doing. Eh, what are you doing now, you little oogden? I'm, um, changing my clothes, sir. This is not a free porno, you pedophile. Well, get on with it and see that you dress proper for his lordship. I will, you big oaf. What's that? I said, do you have a loaf? I'm hungry. Oh, they'll be bringing you cold sheep stomach grill pretty soon. That's good enough for you. Who do you think you are, the general's daughter? <laughs> All right, now as we wrap up this video, let's uh, grab our special herbs. Got them. Uh, let's see. And okay then, one, two, three. Well, that got me totally nowhere. I'm bummed, Lockjaw. I think I'm gonna take a nap. Wake me up if they decide to hang us or anything. They said you was hung, <laughs> and they were right. <laughs> yeah, this had that that has no place in this game. Um. So after this charming little interlude, we get to play as uh, Mr. Lockjaw again. Uh, we can smell. Canvas smells dusty. We can smell pepper have cute little memories of home. I think that's sweet. Um, Lockjaw can, Lock can smell the herbs from, pretty here, from here. They're pretty strong. The crate smells pretty good. What's in the crate? A number of crates are stacked up against the wall. They have labels such as black tea, molasses, and sugar. Let's see what's... True! All these items were imported into the colonies, and they were all outrageously taxed by the British. True, there were guns and cannons. Oh, this must be a gunpowder cannon. Um, barrel. And they all used gunpowder. Some of the early forms of the rifle were the flint lock, the wheel lock, and the match lock. The names refer to the different firing mechanisms of the guns. True, people used all sorts of herbs in an attempt to cure gout. Some herbs made the symptoms better, but none of them worked as an absolute cure. Gout was a serious illness in, 18, in the 18th century. Actually, I think gout just means you're rich because you don't... Oh. Gout was a terrible, painful disease and many people in the 18th century were stricken with it. People tried to cure it with all kinds of herbs and chemicals. For a while, people thought tobacco cured gout. It didn't, of course. Nothing did, but a few things made the symptoms better. I didn't know that! And that... I, I apologize if I uh, offend any cigarette smokers, but... Lockjaw digs like a beast. Lockjaw is a beast! Um, but that makes sense if um, tobacco picked up because they thought it would cure gout. Good boy, who's a smart boy? And um, let's see. Uh, let's finish off this video with our escape. Come on, boy, we're getting that H-E-L-L out of here. So basically, let's GTFO. Alright, we are now in an alley. Um... Maybe in the next video I'll show you the first way you can really screw up and get caught. Uh, for now, everyone, please, don't get gout.
don't smoke tobacco unless you already have either one of those things. Uh, I'm going to enjoy my glass of wine. I suggest you do the same. Thank you, and I bid thee farewell. <laughs>